Welcome to BiologyExamsForYou.com In this video we are going to discuss about the difference between active immunity and passive immunity. Let's start with the definition of immunity. Immunity can be defined as the body's ability to destroy pathogens or other foreign materials and to prevent further cases of infectious diseases. Simply it is a state of being immune to a particular disease. Our body is having all the defense mechanisms to fight that disease. Active immunity may be natural or artificial. Natural active immunity is induced by infection by a pathogen. Suppose a pathogen enters the body. The body's immune response is actively engaged in producing specific antibodies against this pathogen. That constitutes the active immunity. Artificial active immunity, the classical example is vaccination. We are injecting weakened pathogen into the body prior to the exposure of the live pathogen. When the live pathogen enters the system, the body could recognize the live pathogen very easily and can eliminate it with a fast immune response. Passive immunity may be natural or artificial. Natural and passive immunity, classical example is through breast milk, antibodies pass from mother to fetus and also before birth antibodies pass from mother to fetus through placenta. As the newborns are incapable of synthesizing antibodies, they are more prone to infection. In artificial passive immunity, pre-made antibodies are directly injected into the patients for diseases like tetanus, rabies, snake biting, etc. Difference number one, why this name? In active immunity, once a pathogen has entered the body, the body is actively engaged in synthesizing specific antibodies against this particular pathogen. Body's involvement is very active in synthesizing that particular antibodies. That is why the term active immunity. Whereas in passive immunity, antibodies are injected from outside, the body has no role. This is a pathogen and we are injecting the antibodies from outside. Body is simply receiving passively the antibodies. Difference number two, it is regarding the effectiveness. Active immunity to develop, there is a lag period and it requires a time period for immunity to develop. This graph will explain the concept. So whenever there is an infection, once the pathogen enters the body, approximately 14 days or two weeks are required for the production of antibodies. So there is a lag period. Whereas in the case of passive immunity, immunity develops all on a sudden. We are injecting pre-made antibodies into the system. Antibodies are in the circulation all on a sudden. So it's very fast. Difference number three, it is regarding the immunologic memory, a typical property of humoral immune response. And we have discussed about this immune response in detail in our previous videos. Immunologic memory may result in lifelong immunity. And once the pathogen is inside the body, the body will synthesize antibodies against this pathogen. Apart from antibodies, there are certain, cell, certain set of cells are also produced called as memory cells. Memory B cells and memory T cells are also produced. And these cells are responsible for immunologic memory and these cells will remain in the body for a long time. When the same pathogen comes for the second time, these memory cells will recognize this pathogen very easily and mount an effective immune response so that this pathogen will be removed very quickly and this is called as immunologic memory whereas in the case of passive immunity no such immunologic memory as body's immune response is not at all involved in the process the advantage of passive immunity is it helps to stabilize the high risk period so in the case of tetanus or uh, snake biting what we need is we cannot wait for 14 days. Immediate antibodies is required that is supplied by providing pre-made antibodies directly injecting into the system. So it actually helps in stabilizing this high risk period. Difference number four that is regarding the side effects. Active immunity is a natural process therefore side effects are very rare. Whereas in the case of passive immunity we are actually we are injecting pre-made antibodies into the system uh, sometimes the body may react the condition is called as serum sickness and that's the difference between active immunity and passive immunity thank you so much for your support you are with biologyexamsorry.com thank you so much for watching